Looks like I've been caught with one of my crazy ideas. <laughs> if you've been watching this show, you would have seen that fridge down there in the scrub, wouldn't you? Because when you get to be 50 years old, you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and you, you can't go back to sleep, so you get bored and you come up with all sorts of fantastical ideas. Not all of them work, mind you, but sometimes they do. And I thought, what about if we turn that fridge into a top bar beehive? Now, this seems to be the thing that happens when you've been beekeeping for a little while. People want to make a top bar beehive, and I've been checking out the internet, as you do, as what you're doing, you're checking out the internet watching me. Anyway, they go and make these cool wooden hives with the top bar and the whole curvy bit, and you would know if you've researched it. If you don't know what a top bar beehive is, just go on there and you'll see someone make one or have one or whatever. But anyway, the bush bee man thought he's gonna make one out of a fridge. But I'm gonna make it slightly different because I'm gonna make the fridge actually the same, use the same square frames as I use in my square boxes, because my mad plan for the fridge bees is to help restock when I do a split in the spring, I'll have these aggressive bloody bees here will have a bit of extra stock because they breed their asses off. They're not much good at making honey, but hell, they breed. So I thought that might be a good way to put them to use. And if not, well, I don't know. I guess we'll have a fridge full of mad ass bees, won't we? Okay, let's see if we can get this jolly thing out of here. I don't think they're real practical for migration bees though, by the way, my fridge bee idea. But still. Hopefully we're not migrating, are we? We're, whatever we're doing, we're sitting in the one spot. I'm just noticing this is an old school fridge, but it's still got the grid on the back. So we might take that off while it's on the trailer. And then we'll sit it on the Where's it going? What are you doing? Get off. Get off. Not enough. Now you can tell that this is an aged fridge. Because look, they even gave you a bit of cord. Nowadays, you bloody got to buy your own extension cord to plug the bastard in. You know, if you were really keen, you could probably unscrew that, but stuff it. If you were clever, that's almost a queen excluder. Shit, we might actually, we might utilise that yet, but I don't know. That's not part of the plan, actually, but I'm just looking at it. Kill. Cool. You'd never know what I'm going to get up to, do you? Hell, I don't know what I'm going to get up to, so it's all good. Children, don't try this at home. <laughs> no, maybe you should try it. Bugger it. Let's see you. Let's see you post your fridge bee boxes on on our on our bloody Facebook page. Let's see what happens. That would be funny. Fridge. Let's have a fridge bee competition. I don't know what the prize is, but maybe just pride. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Being that I'm the initiator of this competition, just a little hint. The size 281 appeared to me to be a good size. The one I made, I made a one before this that you might get to see at the end of this if this all happens to work out. What's my catch cry? Could be good, could be shit, but who the fuck knows? But we'll find out. I am not allowed to say that word anymore because my mum was trying to tell me to be a good boy. So I am trying, I am trying, I am trying. So, anyway. So we might try that again without the swear word. So anyway, watch my catch cry. Could be good, could be shit, but we'll find out together. Let's check this out. So anyway, we've got to get all the bits out. I was down this study where I bought this crap thing from the recycle joint. And I reckon there was a fridge there in the recycle joint that had this big bit of black text written across it. Um, it doesn't work, but make me an offer. And I'm like going, that was obviously a very keen bloke at a garage sale. I mean, you know, at least he was honest. But it should have been like when I was a kid, I went to the, I went used to go to the markets. We had these markets at Wellunga and you'd go around and you'd buy all the crap. Quite often the same crap would be there the next month. If you went often enough, you'd know which bits didn't work. Anyway, I bought this motor, electric motor for my processing shed. And it had on there, it turns. So I thought that was, yeah, okay, it turns, you know. Obviously, but it's a play on words, because it did turn, but not with any electricity helping it. So it was not very helpful. You'd be pleased to know that as a young man, I had a moral conscience, so I didn't take it back to the market. I just copped it sweet and said, well, that was five bucks down the drain. But So if you ever at a market, and there's an electric motor, and it says it turns, ask to plug the sucker in. Anyway, sorry, I'm on a tangent. 
I reckon a good approach is we'll take this fridge panel bit out. Ah, oh, that'd be right. Yeah, they're not even jolly screws, they're little thingy jigs. I have to go and get something else. I had, I had a screwdriver here somewhere, but now they're fancy little jolly, jolly fancy little tech screwy things. Hmm. This might be slightly different, this one. Now, every fridge has its own, own little idiosyncrasies. So you have to think outside the square, even though it's a, actually a rectangle. Now that'd be right. It's gonna be some dopey ass special fridge friggin' screw. Oh, all right, let's see, let's see, it's a quarter. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna try me fucking levers out. I might just go and get. I'll just go and get some power assistance because this is actually a tech screwy driver thing. Back in the kitchen cupboards. Remind me to put this back, everybody. Otherwise, I'll never know where the bloody thing is when I want to steal it again, will I? <laughs> Couple more of them and I can put them in a the bubble wrap and take them back to the hardware shop. Alrighty, aye. Yeah. Oh no! We're going to have to put it back. Oh. Going to have to put the, these bits back. Oh, they see every fridge is different. Ah, oh, hang on. Wonder what? Wonder what sort? That's pretty unreal. Isn't it? Oh. <sighs> Maybe we should have just cut it out. Now we've got. No, no. That's all right. We'll just stick it to the. We'll stick it to the fridge. We'll just see what it looks like when we close it. Well, that looks pretty bloody sealed anyway. Oh, except for up this end, it's terrible. So it actually needs to be up. Like that. That's all right. Anyway, we'll cross that ridge when we come to it. Now, if you're a professional beekeeper and you're watching this show, don't get excited. This is just a little distraction for our friends that are beekeepers in their backyard. So don't stress out. I am not think. I don't think. My fridge top beehive honey idea is going to put anybody in jeopardy in the commercial bee box selling industry. So don't text me and email me and tell me. I know it's bonkers, so that's fine. But if you're at home watching this, it is a fabulous project to do with your kids over the next couple of weekends. Oh, the school holidays. You know how kids get a bit bored on the school holidays. Imagine making yourself a Bush Bee Man fridge and posting it on our Facebook page and we'll all check this journey out together. You could be all part of this madness. The lad wants to give you a prize, but I reckon the prize is just your own pride. As you saw yesterday, we pulled the door thingamajig off and the whole bloody thing fell apart because it's a slightly different design. All well, these fridges are different when you're pulling the bits, you'll find that out. And I'm sure they're different in the United States of America or England or wherever you are. They'll all be different. Anyway, so I'm just trying to work out how to put the rubber seal on. So I just, hence I told you not to throw screws away. So you never know when you might need them. So I was just going to put this loosely back together. And then hopefully we can pop the rubber seal over it and tie it all back up and, I don't know, bloody put it back together. My wife's granddad used to work at Kelvinators with made fridges. So I wonder whether, well this is a Westinghouse which was the opposition so he probably wouldn't have done that but if we were really lucky we might be making a bee box in my granddad's fridge. So, or my wife's granddad's fridge. That'd be kind of radical wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether this is going to work or not, but still. No, come on, get on there and screw in there a bit. Recycling 101. Pinterest. Pinterest 101. Hey, I wonder if we'll get on the Pinterest page for making a fridge out of a... No, hang on, I'm making a bee box out of a fridge. Do you reckon they'd endorse us? How do you get on that thing? Like, I'm guessing... Are they their own thing, Pinterest people, or is what's that? Or is that a heap of other people making stuff for them? How does that work? I don't know. I'm not I'm not up to speed with all this stuff, even though apparently I'm an internet sensation. I don't really know too much about the internet. I know you're watching me on it. Although my dad's kind of funny, because he's I put this YouTube shit on his TV, and so he actually thinks I'm on the telly, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so I, I guess I technically am on the telly, but still. These are obviously not quite the same screws that were in the same holes. So. <laughs> 
Now we don't want to get it in too excited, we just don't want it to fall off. So I reckon that's about right, and we'll see if we can stick our rubber back on. And very conveniently, the bottom of the rubber is a bit knackered, so I know that that's the bottom. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, anyway, well, this is a bit of a rough start off. We'll hang it up there, and then we'll see if we can get the jolly rubber back on the tin that we take it, took it out of. So we've got that little lip there, and we'll just slip that back underneath our metal bit to catch it. So we'll just screw this end bit down a little bit, and then we'll have something to pull against, to pull it a bit firm. And we don't want to pull it too bloody firm, do we? Perfect, look at that. It's a little bit like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You wouldn't know what the hell you're gonna get when you lift up this door. If your job for the whole day is to put this bloody seal on a fridge, <laughs> that would get a bit exciting. If you were the, the, the fridge door seal installer, I guess, would that be a, that would have been something in the day, wouldn't it? Probably some smart ass robot that does it now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the robot might be better at it than me. I can't get it to sit, sit under this there. <laughs> Talking about robots, I was just thinking that's probably one thing about beekeeping at the minute. I'm not sure as the Autobots are gonna be able to take us over just yet. Oh, sorry, Autobots, that's a, I'm dying, that's a transformer. I mean, the, you know, the auto, whatever robots are called in the robot world. Bush Bee Man Hive Competition. <laughs> the Bush Bee Man Recycled Fridge Hive Competition. What were we going to call it? The Bush Bee Man <laughs> loses his fucking marbles. Probably what it would be called. Uh, hopefully we don't lose our professional beekeeping viewers over this stupid project. Because I mean the bloke should be painting his normal hives and doing stuff but Hell, where would be the fun in that? Bloody hell. I'm glad I never had a job at Westinghouse. I would have got the sack. <laughs> Boss would have come up and said, You're the bloody world's worst fridge fucking seal installer ever. Get out! Get out of here! Go off into the countryside, become a beekeeper. You useless fridge installer. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not what gets said when you get fired, is it? <laughs> it's just like you just move along. Go and find something else to do with your life. And then funnily enough, I don't think I've actually ever been fired. I've quit a few times, but I don't think I've been fired. I've had some had some interesting bosses. That just makes life interesting, doesn't it? Getting to figure out not everybody's sane. Including myself for that matter. I probably couldn't include myself in that statement. <laughs> This is the easy bit too, folks. <laughs> it's supposed to be the easy bit. <laughs>